all right viewers you are welcome today in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the four statements in q basic programming so with this we will do a practice of using the four to look through five numbers and then finding the average of them but in this case we will use the input function so that our program will be so flexible so that anytime the user run the program you can input your own values instead of making it static so as you are going to start you need to follow me very well and get hang of it so to start with the first one over here we are going to just write print statement first but here let's see what we need to do we are going to find the average of five numbers but with these numbers we will allow the user to input the numbers we are not going to make the program static so let's say this is our program let's initialize a value that is going to accumulate all the numbers you are going to add so let's make this variable total so total then let's initialize it to zero it is going to add all the numbers that we are going to receive from the user's input so now in qbasic this is how we write the for statement you write for a number or well, you can use any variable to get these numbers but i'm just using numbers so that you will get the understanding of it so for number is equal to one two five this is just how many times you want to look through so for number is equal to one to five what we want to do we want to allow the user to input their own numbers so let's see how we're going to do it you come to the next line and then type print and we're going to allow the user to enter so we need to display something to prompt the user what needs to be inputted so print enter number so enter number one so here we use for number is equal to one to five so because of this statement we have a number who is going to be iterated so this number is our variable so when we print number it's going to print one to five so let's see how we're going to do it let's add the number to this print statement and see how it will be displayed so enter number number so once we do this we are just displaying the variable number so anytime it prints it add the next number now let's go to the next print number so when it is the first number it will print enter number one when it's the second enter number two and so on now what do we want to do we want to get input from the user so what do we do here we bring the input statement input sorry in put so let's use n to represent the number that the user is inputting so you input n you input a number we've already used the name number so we need not to use it again and we come down here input n what do we do with n when the user inputs the number we want to add all those five numbers because the first statement is iterating five times we want to store all their values in one single variable and that is what we initialize first called total so now let's add the n the number the user inputted let's add it to the total so total will be equal to sorry total plus n so with this statement we are saying that when the user inputs a number which we are storing in a variable called n the number should be added to the total variable how we get it now let's move on once we add the number we move on to the next and then the first statement ends with what we call the next so we bring next here then we come down that means we've ended the four statement now after getting the total what do we need to do we need to find the average because the program wants us to find the average of five numbers now once we get it we can print something here called um the average average is so the average is we are going to divide the total by the number of iterations so we say the average is total divide by number of iterations is five so we bring the five here and we, once we run this program it's going to prompt the user to enter the first number second number 
third number, fourth number, fifth number. Add them together and divide by 5. So let's try running the program and see what will happen. F5 runs the program. So we are waiting. Yeah, so it's prompting us to enter the first number, number 1. So let's say we have 4. Now you press enter again. Then enter number 2. You can see. Now you press, let's say, 6. Enter number 3. Let's say 2. Enter number 4. 7. And then number 5. Let's make it 9. Now after that, it gives us the average of the 5 numbers that we've input. So this is simply how to go about it using the first statement to find the average of numbers. This is very flexible because any time that you run the program, it allows the user to input. You could have made this static by declaring variables and storing 5 consecutive numbers, but that would not be effective because the program wouldn't be useful. Any time the user runs the program, it will just print the same thing. But for this one, we've just allowed the user flexibility to input their own numbers and then find the average of it. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, like it, comment, and then share to your friends. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.